They loved each other. They were always together. Pablo started stealing, you know, hubcaps, cars, and they started with the Coke business, one, two keys. Gustavo Gaviria had the contacts all over the world for the cocaine distribution. They were sending loads to Mexico, to, uh, remember General Noriega in Panama? Gustavo Gaviria, like I said, Pablo's cousin was the one. They did a lot through the Caribbean, especially they did a lot through Haiti. This is in the mid 80s and uh, they had a famous uh, contact in Haiti. In fact, uh, the president of Haiti, Jean Bertrand Aristide, was, is a, was a drug trafficker. Matter of fact, uh, Aristide was receiving a lot of loads from Pablo Escobar. And Steve and I are in Miami, and we're getting ready to indict Aristide when we get the call from, uh, I'm going to say it, I'm retired, I don't care, you know. We get a call from the White House that says you will not be indicting President Aristide. I'm not going to mention who the president uh, was during this time. Wait, why not? Steve, you're the one. Okay, you get in trouble. Man. Okay, I won't, I won't tell you the name of the president, but his wife might have run for office in the United States. Right? <laughs> you figure it he out. He said it, I did not. So. Anyway. And I'm retired as well, so yeah. we're good. <laughs> and remember, there was no extradition between Colombia and the U.S. The U.S. was putting a lot of pressure on Colombia for extradition. And uh, we finally, in 1980, in 1990, we have him located. He comes out shooting. Obviously, we had to kill him. Pablo never forgave us for the death of his cousin. I said he was the one who was running because of the distribution network. Gustavo Gaviria gets killed. Now, when we were chasing Pablo Escobar, and you're going to hear a lot of stories about that Robin Hood myth, which we will, it, you know, yeah, Robin Hood didn't uh, put a bomb on an airplane. Robin Hood didn't kill a president.